Hello friends, I just uploaded today's video for tomorrow, actually, and I'm back to being behind. Oh, there's a little squirt. Hi. Hey, too hot out there? Yeah, it's really hot. Okay, so they are done with school for today? Yeah. Yeah? Where is she? All right. See how dirty my windows are. Maybe that's your job on Saturday? <laughs> After she puts her face on it. I just finished, oh, where's my book? It's in the other room. The Invisible Life of Addie Literou. I read until one or two in the morning last oh night, gosh. and I read all day yesterday. I didn't, I did laundry and I kept the house clean, but I read and I read and I read and read. I probably read 200 and, no, I read about 180 pages. So I had 80 pages left to read today. Yeah, you can have some. And it is so good, and I'm so excited to go to book club tonight. We are meeting in person at my friend's house. She just moved, and she's like, please, let me host. Can you make more noise? Eating my chocolate? <laughs> okay, put it down in between bites. It's just noisy. Anyway, I'm so excited. I'm gonna carpool all of my friends out there because it's about a half hour away. It's just gonna be really, really fun, and it's gonna be fun to talk about this book, and like, I, I think I mentioned it yesterday, Just Mercy. But I just, I mean, that book was like so different and it's a completely different genre and it was a true story and anyway, has a lot more deeper meaning and hurt. But anyway, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Highly, 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 highly suggest it. If you haven't read it yet, I suggest it. I'm starving. I was so into reading this book. I have everyone down here and this one, look at this. It's like our mission to tease the Ashley. If she's not doing homework or school, she has a mission to um, tease yeah. Ashley. There's probably yogurt on these scissors. If you have kids and go you probably have yogurt on your scissors. I am starving, tempted to go get a salad. Are you gonna have something to eat or did you take it? Chelsea p packed you a lunch. Yeah, she only gave me um, yogurt and a... She packed you a yogurt, a banana, a cheese stick, she water. She said I could have the yogurt and the cheese stick. Did she pack you a banana? No. It can get a it fruit. Can. I'll cut up an apple for you. No, Do you want good. yogurt too? Oh, we have Ashley's, come here. We have your head yeah. flower crown to make, yeah. right? I'm going to take her pictures for her baptism. Do you wanna see her dress again? I'm gonna go and make her flower crown tomorrow, hopefully. We'll double check the weather and make sure that the weather is good on Saturday because me and her grandpa are gonna take her pictures, but I need to make the flower crown tomorrow. But look at her cute dress. Isn't that cute? And we've tried it on and it actually fits you. Yeah, it looks long. It washes her out because she's so white. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we need the crown to add some color, right? Yeah. So I'm hoping to get the flowers from Costco tomorrow so they're nice and fresh. And I will show you how I'm gonna make that. I've never made one before, but good old YouTube videos. I think I can do it. I have the raffia and I have, I don't need anything else. You need raffia and water and, and, flowers. and flowers, of course. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. But now that I've read my book, I have no video going up the next day. So hopefully doing that little tutorial, I probably do, will do it as, as a tutorial so it doesn't get lost within the daily video. And then we'll take her to the park and get her photos taken with grandpa. Yeah, we gotta pick a place to go and get them taken. Where do you wanna go? Do you want the lake or a park, okay. trees, field? I'm kind of stumped now because I finished reading that book and I, it's like been a part of my day for the past three days that I'm like, Wait, now what am I supposed to do? But I do need to go run my errands quickly so that I can come back, make sure I make dinner for everyone before I go. So, let's go. Okay, you guys, I haven't even told you like my funnest news. Like I have such a fun trip coming up. I just booked it last night. So if you remember my twin sister, her house caught on fire like almost exactly a year and a half ago on Halloween day. The whole back half of it kind of burnt to the crumble and they've been remodeling it and dealing with insurance ever since. Fast forward to now, they've given her a potential move-in date and with that comes the need to fill her house back up. So she has been given money from her, the insurance company for all the things that were deemed a loss. It's a lot, you guys. She has like an entire binder and spreadsheets that she has made. Whole lists of all the things that she has to buy for the house. Hang on one second and I'll tell you like the magnitude of how much she has to buy. Okay, I have 
Target. Okay, so here's the story. She has these lists and notebooks and like you wouldn't believe the amount of stuff that she's got to buy for the house. So not only, we'll start like the bedrooms because she lost like the whole back side of her house but it was her room and then the smoke damage to her roommate's bed so she's responsible for that. So they have to buy new beds which means new like bed frame, mattresses, sheets, blanket, like the whole work. They were all damaged so that was in the bedroom. Then she also has to buy like curtain, curtain rod. In the bathroom has to buy you know the shower rod, shower curtain, bathroom towels. Um, she has to buy all the faucets for all the bathrooms including the kitchen faucet. She has to buy rugs. Um, all her bathroom toiletries they will pay for. Uh, let's see. I'm just doing the bathroom. So that's times two baths she has to do all that for because her roommate's bathroom is, was damaged as well. And this is her house. Like my sister owns the house and then she has a roommate living with her and then my brother used to live with her like two days a week when he came down for work and that mattress and bedspread and all that kind of stuff has to get replaced as well. Okay so then we have like the kitchen. Faucet, the microwave, uh, she had the fridge was deemed salvageable, so the fridge is fine. She has to buy a new oven and stove and like toaster, um, all new dishes, all that kind of stuff is part of the insurance money that she got. And then we moved downstairs. She needs a new washer and dryer, and they're doing a different setup because they completely remodeled that portion of her house. Um, and they pushed walls back and they remodeled the bathroom downstairs. So then the downstairs bathroom has fixtures and towels and rugs and, and all that stuff in the bathroom. The list is like beyond anything I can like even imagine. It's just overwhelming. So for the past year, every time we get on our family call on Sundays, every week we ask Erin for an update on her house and how's it going and what will insurance pay for and what will they not and as we've kind of gotten to the end here she's starting to like stress about all these things that she has to buy and every single time she mentions it she's like I just can't imagine having to go and do this is really bad angle hang on zoom in maybe so every time she talks about it she's like I just wish and she doesn't say this facetiously she literally says I wish there was just someone that was like good at doing this like I wish they would help me like pay for someone to come and do all this shopping with me because it's really overwhelming and my roommate has to work right around the time when I'm gonna have to go and buy all this stuff she also has to like ship things like get things set to ship like her washer and dryer and couches and all that kind of stuff so then she just kept joking about needing like a shopper friend to come with her to get all this stuff like it's just so overwhelming for her and I kept joking with her every single Sunday that she would talk about this I was like well you know you could pay for me to come I would love to do that kind of stuff so that's kind of been the family joke is that like oh just hire Dana just have Dana come up and help you to out with all that kind of stuff so then yesterday she called me and she was like so how serious are you <laughs> like wait for real and she said yes I'm dead serious can you come this weekend so then I looked at airfare for two weeks from now and it literally cut in. so for a very good price for a plane ticket I am going down and I'm gonna go and help her and she's gonna pick me up straight from the airport and we're gonna be on a mission I told her you have two weeks to come up with a plan she's gonna go to some of the furniture stores ahead of time and find out about shipping and delivery dates she's gonna find about when the Memorial Day sales end and all, like all this kind of stuff she's and I'm gonna go help her and we're gonna shop solid for four days. Four days, we're gonna rest on Sunday. For, we're gonna shop for three days, rest on Sunday, and then we're gonna shop for one more day, and then <laughs> she'll take me to the airport that night. I'm excited. It'll be the last week that my kids are in school, and it'll be a little bit easier. There's gonna be less homework to worry about for Ashley. I'm very excited for that. I'm gonna bring you along. She knows I'm gonna bring you along, but it will be pretty chaotic. But I do wanna have you see the process of having to fill a home after a fire and a big shopping spree times four days. It's gonna be really fun, really exhausting, but she and I have a really good time when we're together and we work well with each other and we, I don't know, we're twins, so it just works. I'm gonna go into ta Target really quick, but I just, I'm really excited to go and help her. And Jason's very supportive of me going to do this. And so he said, no, this is your chance to go and help, go and do this, and she's really excited for me to come. Club tonight. 
Jason came home and didn't want to make dinner for the girls, so he took them to Red Robin. It's $2.99 night for the kids. I'm gonna try and find a little bit of a lipstick. I haven't been able to wear lipstick for, I don't wear lipstick very often, but I haven't been able to because of COVID and masks. But every one of us tonight is vaccinated, so we won't have to wear a mask. Hang on. Okay, just put a little color on my lips. Gotta get my phone because she lives far away. I need to pick everyone up early. And I think I have like five minutes before I have to get the first person. And she lives like one street over. So I'm just gonna go get the car ready, make sure that there's no like garbage in the back seat. And I think I'm bringing six people in my car, six adults. My car is used to fitting little kids. So hopefully everyone doesn't feel too squished. All right, let's see here. What kind of a mess? My kids are pretty good. Got a water bottle. Not bad. This is it, guys. I'm not like cleaning it up before you come out here with me. I'm just gonna. There's a little bit there. So not bad. I'll put that back up. I need to get her car seat out, and then I think yeah, there's some sanitizer. My kids have done well. Car's pretty clean. Okay, now let's put you down here. And then pull that up. And get that car seat out. All right, so I'm gonna leave the seats pulled up until I get the first three passengers. And then they can, well, maybe I'll just, they're just gonna rattle. They can put them down easy. Don't be a